Earlier this year, the U.S. National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine recommended that the next flagship mission in planetary science, one costing perhaps $4 billion, should go to Uranus, with launch targeting the 2030s. Such a mission would be the second to appear into the Uranian system, following only Voyager 2's 1986 flyby. It would be the first spacecraft to make an extended stay in the neighborhood. And while the ice giant's atmosphere and interior would be key priorities for the mission, there's more to the picture. In terms of the science questions that we can entertain with an orbiter and a probe at Uranus, this list is really long. Richard Cartwright, a planetary scientist at the SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, Institute in California, said during a presentation at the annual meeting of the American Astronomical Society's Division of Planetary Science was held earlier this month. Uranus sports 27 known moons, nearest the planet itself are the inner ring moons, which Cartwright noted are the most densely packed system of satellites in the solar system and may be exchanging material with the rings. Farthest away, all beyond 2.7 million miles from Uranus, are the irregular moons, which orbit backward and may be captured asteroids. According to NASA, there are so many open questions about the origins of the irregular satellites, Cartwright said, noting that mission personnel can arrange for a spacecraft to fly past one as it approaches Uranus itself. But the five remaining moons, dubbed the classical moons, are where a spacecraft could really shine. These are the moons large enough that astronomers had spotted them from Earth by 1950. Even the smallest and last spotted of these moons, Miranda, which is about 310 miles, 500 kilometers, wide embodies the mysteries surrounding the Uranian moons. It's important we start this mission as soon as possible so that we can get that Jupiter gravity assist window, hit that window between 2030 and 2034 so we can get to Uranus faster, before the system transitions back into southern spring in 2050, he said.